guys welcome back i'm so glad that you're here today we are going to sit down and i thought it would be so much fun to just share my current favorites with you guys whether that's books i'm reading right now favorite health products home products fashion um, just general lifestyle there are so many things that i'm currently loving that I thought it'd be fun to share with all of you. So if you're excited about today's video, do me a favor, give it a big thumbs up before we dive in. And um, yeah, let's get started. So how are all of you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you grabbed yourself a cup of coffee or a snack for today's video. Hope you feel like you're just kind of hanging out with a friend today, but you'll have to let me know. Let's do a little check-in in the comment section. Let me know how your week's going, what's been a high for you this week, what's going well. Um, but before we kind of dive into all of the products today, I'm very excited. I did want to pause and kindly thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is no stranger to my platform, and that is because it has truly changed my life, and I'm so grateful to continue my partnership with them. If you don't know, BetterHelp is an online therapy platform that has over 30,000 licensed therapists to choose from, and so the pool is just so much bigger than maybe what you can find even locally if you have specific mental health needs or struggles and you want someone who really has that expertise. And you know, they're trained to give you professional, unbiased advice to help you with your mental health struggles or certain situations that you're going through, maybe circumstances that you're facing. I know for me personally, just having that unbiased professional opinion speak into my life on a weekly basis has been transformative because in life it's so easy to get caught up in all of the little stuff and lose sight of the big picture and just having someone speak into situations and really help you with coping mechanisms not only emotionally but also just practically. And I know as women, it can often feel like we are a burden when we're struggling mentally with something. We don't feel like we want to burden our friends or our relatives or our spouse with some of the just inner stuff we have going on. And just having that safe space, that unbiased place where you can go and be vulnerable is really valuable. You go down to the website in my description below, betterhelp.com forward slash Amy Fritz. You can fill out a questionnaire. It just takes a couple of minutes and you can really specify your needs. And you know, you submit that and you're usually matched with a therapist in as little as 48 hours in most cases. It's really great because you can schedule your therapy at a time that's convenient for you and you can schedule your therapy sessions to be over the phone, um, via video chat, or even through messaging on the app. So there's an option for everyone. Don't be intimidated. Start your therapy journey today. Again, by going to betterhelp.com forward slash Amy Fritz. If you use that link, you'll get 10% off of your first men's therapy. And again, a big thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Okay, let's start with favorites in the book category. I'm going to try to go quick because I got a big stack here. First up, I shared this back in the winter. It took me a few months to get through. I read it pretty slow, but it was such a good book. It's called Holy Huga. If you aren't familiar with the term Huga, it's a Danish word. It doesn't really have an English equivalent, but it's just about bringing comfort to your home, to your life, and creating that feeling, that, that inner peace, and that just safe space in your home and how to really reflect that to the people in your home, your family, and whoever comes through your front door. It's a really good read. Okay, next up, this was a book I bought probably about six, six months ago or so, but I'm just now getting to, and it's called Habits of the Household, Practicing the Story of God in Everyday Family Rhythms. And this is a book that Caleb and I are actually reading through together and we're discussing during date night. We love to do little things like this. We don't do it all the time, but you know, having 
something to talk about, something intentional during our date nights. Not for the whole time. Most of the time we're just having fun. But for a portion of dinner or before dinner comes, you know, just trying to check in with one another. But this book has been really good. It's a great reminder of just bringing God to the center of everything, whether it's bedtime routine, morning routine, cooking breakfast, making, like having meal times, bath time, like teaching your kids to enjoy work, play and rest and bringing God in the center of it all as a family. So it's been good, I'm not totally done with it yet. I've got, I think about three more chapters to go, but it's been good. Last book is actually more in the category of gardening, but it's a book, so I'm gonna share it. It is beautiful, it's called The Garden Journal. I bought it as a little gift to myself, just for the new house and the land, and I cannot wait to have a nice big garden, but the inside pocket here has a place to put, I think seed packets, I would imagine, which is papers, whatever you need. And then it has everything from like garden layout design. I don't know if you can see that, but it's graphing paper in there. So you can lay out your garden. It just has like daily log for an entire year. Um, it's got um, all kinds of conversion charts and when to plant and like bulb guides and plant inventories. And like it is just jam-packed with all the things. <laughs> Seed charts, um, how much mulch to use, like there's all kinds of guides. There's a spring chore checklist and there's early spring, mid spring, and late spring. This would be super helpful. And then there's a chore log. I just thought this was awesome. I thought it was beautiful. Um, I bought it for myself for the new garden and um, I think you guys, if you are into gardening, I think you would enjoy it as well. And kind of speaking of gardening, uh, kind of the opposite of gardening, but flowers, <laughs> I wanted to share these in my current favorites because I discovered them last spring and they have been such a good investment. They are the Real Touch Hydrangeas from Amazon. so very affordable, they come quick. I cannot get over how realistic these are. The petal count is really good and they feel really real. The leaf color is spot on and the stem is very woody, which is what a real hydrangea is like. And so they come in like a pack of three. I think I bought one pack of white and one pack of green and then I was able to make either one really large arrangement or a couple small. This is what the green looks like, but very lifelike, very beautiful for the spring and summer. They always look good <laughs> and you just can't beat flowers. They, they just make you happy. So I'm pretty boring when it comes to spring cleaning and what products I use. I use a lot of water and vinegar, a lot of dish soap. I occasionally, you know, use something that is like one item specific, like a cooktop cleaner or something. So because I'm so boring when it comes to cleaning and, and all of that, I still really enjoy a good smelling home and using some product that smells really good in my laundry. So that when I'm washing linens or even just washing our clothes, the whole house smells good. And it's just, it's something that brings me joy. And last season, I think it was as well, but still a current favorite. I discovered this company, it's called The Good Home Co. And they have laundry detergent, and then they also just have laundry fragrance, which is what I buy. And a little bit goes a long way, it lasts a long time, but they have a couple of different scents. This one I've really been enjoying. It's called Clina Colada. I just buy it on Amazon. It smells like pina colada. I love coconut. <laughs> when I'm doing laundry, rolling laundry for the day, my house smells like a beach vacation. It's really good. They have a couple other scents that I've enjoyed as well, but I think this one is probably my favorite. And there's just something about treating yourself <laughs> to good smelling clothes when you have to do something so mundane like laundry. Just, it's the little things, it's the little things, so. The next category we're gonna roll into kind of the health related stuff. Just kind of some supplements, shoes, all over the place here. But starting out, 
I have this nifty little <laughs> foam roller and this thing has been my best friend lately. If you have muscle soreness from working out or running, if you have lower back pain, if you know you just have aches and pains of everyday life, foam rolling has been a game changer for me. I usually just get my foam roller out. This one is a medium pressure, so you can see the little grooves here, uh, meaning it puts some pressure on my muscles when I'm using it. But I'll just like YouTube foam rolling exercises. Sometimes I'll do foam rolling exercises for running. I found a few that I really enjoy and I'll just take 10, 15 minutes to roll out on this thing. I would say more so for my back. <laughs> it's been really good. Kind of random, but it's been a recent favorite of mine. <laughs> and so I wanted to share it. And then kind of in that same realm of just general soreness, if you're lifting weights, if you're doing, you know, more exercising, even if you're not, even if it's just everyday life, I have been really into my magnesium lotion lately. This has been a game changer for me. I actually read a few studies that said that magnesium is absorbed at the highest I hope I'm saying this right, like the highest potency, like it can be the most readily available and easiest absorbed through the skin, more so than if you were to just take it orally. And so I bought some lotion and this one is really good. A little bit goes a long way. Um, you can do like a carrier oil or I'll just like pump my dosage into another lotion that I have, or I'll just use it plain, it just depends. But rubbing it into areas that are sore. For me, I've been massaging this into my legs at nighttime. It's really good on my neck. I'll do a pump and just kind of rub out on my neck before bed. And not only is it great for muscle recovery, but also relaxation. So I don't know if it's a placebo effect or what, but I rub this stuff in right before I go to bed, and I'm not kidding, it is lights out. <laughs> I just feel relaxed. It's just been a really nice form of self-care for me, and I've, I've really enjoyed it. If you followed my channel, you know I share lots of recipe, kind of what I eat in a day videos as I've been on a health journey, and protein. I'm always trying to get more protein. And if you watched my last video, I shared this protein powder because it is definitely a current favorite. It's from the Love Sweat Fitness brand. I followed Katie for years on YouTube and Instagram, and I've bought several of her products. They're really good. But this is her plant protein in the peanut butter flavor. And this one oh, is my favorite of all of them. It's 130 calories a scoop for 23 grams of protein, and it's all plant protein. And I would say this is very comparable to like PB2 powder, PB Fit powder. It's all plant protein. It's really easy. It's delicious, zero sugar, vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO. Really good ingredients in here as I'm looking at the ingredient list. And it is delicious. You can go so many different ways. I typically do like a milk, some greens and berries with this is delicious but one or two times at night, I have done a scoop of this with some milk and some cocoa powder and maybe a little honey to sweeten it up and it's like that chocolate, peanut butter, maybe some banana factor. Yum, great way to sneak in some more protein. One more kind of supplement-esque thing that I wanted to share that I've been loving uh, recently, definitely a current favorite, I've been going through this like crazy, but it's just the Element Electrolyte drink mixes. Sorry, wrong side. These are awesome. If you don't know, I'm training for a marathon currently, so I am getting in a ton of mileage, uh, lots of lots of sweating going on at, in my day-to-day -day life right now. And so making sure that, you know, I'm replenishing my sodium, my potassium, my magnesium, it's really important. If you're somebody who eats a low carb diet, making sure you get your trace vitamins and minerals, also really important. And if you just want to make sure you're staying hydrated, it's really good. It's salty, I will warn you guys, but I've come to really like it. The grapefruit salt is my favorite flavor. They recommend one packet a day if you're just kind of an average 
active person and then two packets a day if you're like super active sweating a lot so i usually do one to two packets a day the grapefruit is my favorite i also really like the mango chili kind of spicy it kind of reminds me of a spicy margarita <laughs> <laughs> really good next step I get asked a lot about these next two categories and these next two products so I thought I'd share because they are current favorites I have a new shoe here that I have been loving it's actually my second pair so I say new shoe but just new colored shoe because my first pair was like navy blue and green and then I just recently bought this pair and these fun spring like colors isn't this a pretty shoe I love this shoe it is the Brooks glycerin 21 and this is just a great everyday neutral trainer if you're somebody who does lots of just kind of easy mileage walking it's a great shoe i uh, i love it it's got a ton of support a ton of cushion just ran a half marathon in this shoe well i didn't wear this exact one i wore my first pair and loved it had zero issues with my feet and really been enjoying it definitely a current favorite so not only are those shoes something i have been living in on my runs but also thought i'd share because this is more general are running shorts that i have fallen in love with and you guys i have tried so many different brands and styles uh, I've tried Lululemon, I've tried Nike, I've tried Amazon, I've tried Target, and I have found lots of shorts that I like, but this is the first pair that I love. <laughs> I love them. They are from Athleta, and you know, nothing much to see. This is my black pair. I probably should have grabbed a fun spring color. I just ordered yellow and pink, so that'll be fun for spring. I think right now I currently have black and like a slate blue color. All that to say, I've officially or ordered them in every color, I think. But there's a few reasons they stand out to me. First of all, the length is perfect for my height. I'm 5'6". They are a 4-inch, I think. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Don't hold me accountable to that. But the length is really nice. They're not booty shorts. Like, they're not too short. Like, some of the Lululemon ones I've tried, way too short for me but they're not too long. Have you ever gotten the shorts that are too long and then you just feel like your legs don't look very good? <laughs> they are a great length. They are comfortable. The uh, lining on the inside is so comfy. I, again, I just ran a half marathon in these, did not chafe, did not have any issues. But one fun detail that kind of makes them stand out is the bottom is meshed. I don't know if you can see that. And it's just a fun little detail when you're wearing them that make them stand out and just look a little bit different. They have zipper pockets, which is great. And yeah, I just, I don't have enough good things to say about these shorts and <laughs> had to share them in my spring favorites. Along that same kind of topic, diving into a couple of like apparel related things. In the spring months, when it's not hot, but it's not cold, let's say you have a 65 degree day or a 70 degree day, and you just need a sweater. A sweater that, you know, just takes the edge off, the chill off a little bit. This is a cardigan that I actually found on Amazon, and I love the color. Obviously, I'm into this I'm into this color right now. I don't know what that's about, but it's got some holes here. It's really pretty. It's really lightweight. Maybe I can try to tr put it on for you guys. I've worn it in a few videos, so you've probably seen me wear it if you watch my videos. But, um, it is just so comfy. The sleeves are nice and baggy. Have you ever gotten a cardigan where it's like really tight, but the wrist is still tight? And I love that feature of it. It's just perfect. It's the perfect little cardigan for a restaurant or even just at home I'll wear it with a t-shirt and some leggings and I'll just be really comfortable I think I'm gonna leave it on for the rest of this video because I put it on and I'm like oh I'm cozy now Hi. this next one has been such a good find and it's so great for the spring months it's just a little crossbody bag from Amazon I love this trend I hope this trend sticks around and even if it doesn't I'll probably continue to use it you guys have probably seen those like little Lululemon bags that are like the crossbody, and I do have one of those, but I like this one. Um, it's upright instead of, it's 
sideways like a fanny pack. It kind of looks more almost like mini backpack like, but you can choose which side to cross over with the clip. You know, you can, you can clip either side and when you wear it, it's so great because sorry, this is weird. <laughs> when you wear it, it falls like right around the waist, maybe a little bit above the waist and virtually you're hands free when you're grocery shopping, when you're at the park with your kids, whatever you're doing, which I love, very lightweight. And then if you are, you know, at Starbucks ordering your coffee or, you know, wherever you are, you're checking out at the grocery store, your money, your stuff is right in front of you. I just unzip, it's upright, which is what I like versus the sideways options. You know, you open it up and you've got all your stuff, your cards, your money, your keys, whatever you need. It's so convenient if you're a mom, you need one of these bags. <laughs> but even if you're not, I can't say enough good things about it. And the price point is great. I went with like this, um, I think it's, the color is called maybe camel, but it's like a camel color. It kind of goes with everything and it's been a great, great find. Next two things are also from Amazon. I was really in need of a necklace, just something simple, inexpensive. I didn't want to spend a lot of money, just something I could wear every single day that went with whatever I was wearing. And I have been really into gold recently, but I found this gold necklace. It's not really a chain. I don't know, what do you call this style? Um, but it's very sleek, it's very dainty, it's very pretty. And I like it a lot because it's not a choker, but it is more, it's more of a high neck fit. So if you wear a lot of like high neck clothing, it will work great. You now, which I do wear a lot of kind of higher neck clothing. And so it's just very simple, very pretty. It's something without being real bulky or like in the way. And it was really inexpensive on Amazon. I bought it probably about six weeks ago or so. And it goes with so many of my pretty spring outfits. It just kind of completes the look. And I love that, just a little something. And apparently this is a get ready with me now or, or get dressed with me outfit of the day. Cause this last thing I have to share in the clothing um, category is a pair of shoes. And I love sandals. I am, I would live in flip flops year round if I could. I think it's because I grew up in Florida. And so you just, you didn't wear closed toed shoes in Florida ever. And so the winter months kill me. And as soon as it gets warm enough, you'll find me in sandals. But I'm always looking for an inexpensive pair of sandals that are comfortable, that are durable that I don't have to spend a fortune on. And so I looked at some of my options online and again, ended up finding this pair on Amazon. I love these because I can dress them up, dress them down. They're also kind of that camel color. I like kind of the box toe style. I think makes them look a little bit more dressy, but they're not dressy at all. I mean, you could easily wear this with a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and be good to go. They're very comfortable. I've worn them a handful of times now. And um, yeah, definitely recommend them. They are true to size. I wear size nine, <laughs> fun fact, I got big feet. <laughs> and um, yeah, they've been a great, a great find for the spring months. If you just need that like casual everyday sandal that's a little bit dressier than a flip flop, this is a great choice. My last category here is beauty. And I don't have a ton, but I've been thinking about it. I was trying to think like, what are my current favorites when it comes to beauty right now? And you know, I love makeup. I love skincare. I love the whole thing, but truly in a season right now where I am just keeping everything so, so minimal. I'm not wearing a ton of makeup anymore. I'm, you know, trying to minimize my skincare and hair care and all of that stuff. So these few things that I'm sharing are things that I really, really like because <laughs> if they've made the cut, I like them. The first thing I wanted to share is from Typology. I worked with them a few months ago. I have been loving this brand, you guys. They are from France. Everything is clean because over there, their regulations are a lot stricter than here in the US. I think they have like 1200 ingredients that are banned in France that aren't here. This is a lip oil that 
is in the color powder pink. I'll put it on. I've had this bottle. First of all, how cute is the packaging? It looks like nail polish. Keep it in my purse. I've had this for like six months <laughs> and I'm not even close, I think, to emptying it. You can see it's only to like there. A little bit goes a long, long way, so don't be deterred by the price point. But it's so nice because it gives the look of a lip gloss, but it's nourishing like a lip balm. And it's just pretty. It's just something. <laughs> Keep this in my purse. I love it. I love, love, love it. This stuff is kind of in the realm of skincare. I feel funny sharing it if I'm being honest, but it's been a favorite of mine for a couple months in my skincare routine. And that is 100% pure certified organic castor oil. <laughs> it's hexane and chemical free, which is what you want if you're going to buy some. But I saw a couple YouTube videos on this topic and I thought, castor oil, isn't that what people use to like go into labor? <laughs> like what and I have very dry skin especially through the winter months and into the early spring and I watched a couple of videos this one says use two to three drops of oil on your fingertips and rub them together and massage onto clean dry face neck skin hair scalp or other desired areas I think that's something I really like about it I can use it all over it just um I wasn't sure, but I have dry skin and I started using it at the end of my skincare routine. So I just wash my face, I put on one or two serums morning and night, different things, a little bit of moisturizer, and then I put this on my face to kind of soak everything in, seal everything in, look like a glazed jelly donut. <laughs> and oh my word, I have noticed such a difference in my skin the last couple of months and I'm not you know it's not sponsored I'm not sponsored by castor oil here I just have really been enjoying it I've been not putting it all over my body but I put it on my elbows and knees and areas that I get extra dry on top of my moisturizer it says that it purges the pores of impurities reduces the appearance of blackheads and fights bacteria that causes acne on it so I just, I was dealing with some breakouts. I was talking to um, a doctor friend of mine. She's not my doctor, but she's my friend and she is a physician. And I said, why am I getting acne? I'm healthier than I've ever been. I was getting breakouts in like weird spots. Like my chin was breaking out kind of bad, which is hormonal usually. And then I was getting acne on my stomach area. Like on the sides of my stomach, I was getting these little breakouts. And she was like, that's interesting. And she, she went, oh, wait, I know. So apparently we store hormones in our fat. And when you lose fat, um, those hormones need a place to go. <laughs> and they show up in the form of acne on your skin. So if you've lost weight and you've dealt with some breakouts, now you know why. <laughs> but anyway, this has been a great natural source for me and my skin. I've been loving it. I think I'm gonna continue to use it through the summer because so far it's worked really, really well. I don't use it in the morning, just at night before bed, and I wake up feeling like my skin is soft and moisturized and um, feels great. I've been getting questions about this quite a bit actually and I wanted to share because we are going into spring and summer but it's my favorite self tanner. It is the Isle of Paradise dark self tanning oil mist. So it comes in a bottle like so. You can see I'm almost out of it. I love this stuff. I use it with a mitt. Don't use it with my fingers because I don't want to get orange fingers but I use the dark. You shake it up and I love the application. It applies um, with a little spray and it's just like spraying on like tanning oil. Like if you were to put tanning oil on and be at the beach, rub it in. It feels very moisturizing. It smells really good. It has kind of almost like a floral scent. Mm, it smells good. But um, I have just found it works really well. I use it sparingly on my face. Found that if I use too much of it on my face, I get way too dark. <laughs> And then that's a whole nother thing. But they have different shades. I think they have light, medium, and then again, I'm the dark. This is great if you're trying to stay out of the sun like me, um, try to keep your skin protected and you want that glow. I use this, you know, 
Typically I would say I use this weekly. I say I average more like every other week or so, but you could definitely use as much as you wanted. My last favorite of the day is a perfume. I love fragrance. I love perfume, you guys. And this was one I shared, I think I've shared on my channel. Maybe, maybe not. But for the spring, this is the Lake and Sky 1111. And I just have this small bottle with me. Um, I had a big bottle, but I'm out. This is all I have left of the small. And this is a roll-on applicator, but this is actually an oil, not not um, a uh, like a aerosol kind of spray, it's an oil. And I love that because sometimes I'll roll it onto my fingertips and it has a very you know oily texture. And I'll just like hit the ends of my hair <laughs> And I feel like I can get a waft of the scent all day long. Every single time I wear this, I get compliments on it from friends, from random people. <laughs> and I always get asked, what are you wearing? And I always tell people, it's the 1111 from Lake and Sky. And you can get it on Amazon. But this stuff is very good. Okay, friends. Well, that's all I have for you today. This video was so much fun to make. You'll have to let me know if you enjoyed it. And just kind of enjoyed seeing what my current favorites are. I know as somebody who also watches content on YouTube and Instagram, I think it's fun just women to women, friend to friend, to see what people are enjoying, seeing things that have already been tried and tested so that you don't have to wonder. <laughs> um, and I think we're all just kind of curious on what's good and, and what products you like and what works. And what works for me may not work for you, um, but I hope you enjoy just seeing what I'm enjoying this spring season. If you liked today's video, do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up. Maybe share it with a friend or a loved one that helps my channel out more than you know. And I just want to say that I'm so thankful for you watching this video. It means the world to me to have you here, to have your support. I hope you know that you're like a friend to me. Actually, you're more like family to me at this point. And I'm super grateful for you. So I hope you have a wonderful day and continue to have a wonderful spring season. And I'll see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye.